Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is a answer to a question I get regularly. I got it in the last 24 hours and we've talked about it in the past but sometimes it's nice to redo a video to redo it because also sometimes things change. It's about the internet service provider that you're using. What does the internet service provider or ISP see of what you're doing on the internet? It's a common question I get all the time and uh, well it depends how you are connected to what you're doing and you'll see the explanation here. So when you go on the internet if you do not use anything special so you don't use a, a VPN or a virtual private network which most people don't use you are in a standard connection with your internet service provider through their modem and that means that they can see some of the things that are happening. What does that mean? Well, first of all, most websites today are secure. That means most websites have that little connection that says, well, the information is secure between this website and it tells you here, connection is secure. What does that mean? It means it's HTTPS for secure HTTP. It means that it is actually encrypted from the browser to the computer where the page exists. That means in between nobody sees what's happening. But your internet service provider will see that you've gone to that page though. The request to go to the page is visible. That means my internet service provider now would have in their log he went to spaceweather.com that you see here. But after I've reached the page, because the HTTPS is encrypted, they don't see what I'm doing on the page. And if you, you know, go and fill out, buy something on a secure page with a credit card, stuff like that, they can't see anything of that. Because that's an encrypted tunnel between your browser and the computer that you're connected to. So they'll see where you go, they don't know what you do. Now there's still a number of websites, and I have an example here, that are not secure. Not secure simply means that it's not using HTTPS, it's using standard HTTP. This is open. This anyone can see. That means your internet service provider can see not only where you went, but it knows everything you do on this page because it is an open page visible to everybody. But it's not just your internet service provider. The reason why a lot of the browsers and, and everybody that makes a browser is trying to push HTTPS as a standard is because of this. Because not only your ISP can snoop on what you're doing on the page, in between your computer's browser and the other computer where you're connected for the page, every interconnection in there can also snoop on what you're doing here. That's why we always say, do not do, um, you know, purchases or give personal information on a page that is not secure. It's extremely important to know that. So that is something to understand. That's why HTTPS is the preferred connection, because even though they know where you went, they can't see what's happening in between. Now, is there a way for you to prevent the snooping from happening? Yes, there is, and it's called a virtual private network, or a VPN. A VPN is changing the way you connect to the internet. What happens in a VPN is that it creates an encrypted tunnel between the computer itself in the connection and some other computer on the web. Now, your ISP will know you're using a VPN but it doesn't know at all and cannot see what's happening in the VPN because that is a level of encryption that is before the browser. The connection itself is all encrypted. So even when you open your browser, your browser is going through the VPN. So it's already encrypted even when you ask for a website. So that's what happens. That's why a VPN sometimes is a little slower because your requests for a website and the way that it's connected 
well, is not as local. It can jump through different hoops and different computers before it actually happens. Um, and so that's why um, sometimes it's slowed down on a VPN because there's all sorts of little, um, the way they do it to try to prevent tracking and, and even, you know, try to prevent if something bad happens to track you back. It's not totally impossible, but it makes it more difficult. So your ISP, to just say it again clearly in three little different steps, a non-secure website, your ISP knows where you went and it sees what you're doing. A secure website, which is most websites today, it knows where you went, but it can't see what you're doing. And finally, using a VPN, the computer, the, the ISP knows you're using a VPN, but it doesn't know what you're doing. It cannot see what you're doing and it doesn't know where you're going. So that's why some people use VPNs to be ultra secure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.